Well, FC Dallas trying to get healthy. A couple of guys missing for various reasons. Brian Acosta, their midfielder, had an emergency appendectomy on Sunday. He's out three to four weeks. And a couple of other guys dealing with some various malaises and maladies. Paxton Pomichol, that core muscle. And Matt Hedges has a, a quad injury. Trying to heal up before the end of February. February 29th. Hey, most years, that's known as March 1st. But that's the season opener against the Philadelphia Union. Hopefully you have an updated calendar. Or else some fans might think that would be March 1st. But leaping into 2020 indeed. A lot of contact down on the touchline and some shoving. There's the passion that fans like to see between Ignacio Bailone and Thiago Santos. Not to condone any such activity, but this is a preseason friendly, and certainly you like to see the intensity of a regular season or even playoff match. And it looked like that on that tussle. Arrivo sends it all the way back to Cardoni. Cycled back around for San Antonio FC. Trying to work that ball into the attacking third. Long cross over to Smith. Dancing around the top of the 18. Curling shot blocked away. A corner upcoming for San Antonio FC. Bresson got in front. The 27-year-old defender out of Brazil. Played in 18 matches last year in his first season with FC Dallas. But that was a good look by the home side. And another opportunity forthcoming. Hayden Partain digs in. One man on the goal line for San Antonio FC. Deep cross. Deflected away. Hands pointing every which way. And it stays down there with San Antonio FC. You do have to appreciate on those contested first balls when it's headed out that both sides, even if they know it or not, both are going to say it went their way. There's never going to be a guy that pats his chest and says, actually, that touch was off me. It should be the other way. Part of the game. Low cross chipped out. A counterattack for FC Dallas. A strong run by Fafa Pico. But then the two defenders able to converge back and kind of pincer the ball loose. That's where you might see something develop as this match wears on. If San Antonio FC continues to press, looking for that opportunity, the speed and skill of some of these FC Dallas players could perhaps spring a counterattack. Now, in the end, it ultimately doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't. Neither coach is going to come away from this match and be frustrated by the final score. They'll be frustrated if their teams don't show the effort they would have liked or if tactically it didn't play out like they envisioned. But people do like to see a winning number. And so for pride's sake, we'll see how aggressive these sides get as the match wears on and if it stays a scoreless draw. Good dribbling into the box, trying to shake loose. Gallegos had it for a moment and then just dispossessed. Oh, a yellow shown on the tackle. And Fafa Pico down again. He has been on the wrong end of some tough challenges. And that time, with the boots up, the yellow shown. Joshua Yarrow. 
the second overall pick in the 2016 MLS Super Draft by the Philadelphia Union. One of a handful of returners for San Antonio FC. He also played three years of college soccer at Georgetown. Across midfield, Edwin Cerillo dumps it down into the corner. Barrios sizing up the defense, flicks on net, good ball toward the back post. Cardoni tipped it away. FC Dallas a chance, back in front, cleared away. Herrillo. The most potent effort in this match so far for FC Dallas. It was a heck of a chip by Michael Barrios to spring that attack. Force Cardoni to sprint all the way back and then he still hadn't cleared it out of the box. But coming off his line and Cardoni able to just deny FC Dallas for a moment. But the visiting side can feel the dam maybe starting to break as they press forward. Not just yet, San Antonio FC says. And here's Jose Gallegos. Through ball to the left side. Dancing around the top of the box into the 18. Left footed strike way high. But a good attempt and run by Ignacio Bailone.